Hey guys, what's up? It is Drew here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a DIY video. I absolutely love creating stuff and if you guys did not know, I have a second channel. It's called Lone Fox. It's entirely DIY and home decor and interior based. Um, if you didn't know, I'm going to link it below for you guys and put it in a card up there. I post brand new videos every single week on home decor and DIY, but I actually kind of found my love for DIY through actually creating clothing and just like sewing. I went to fashion school as a lot of you guys know for product development, which is kind of like the creation of clothing. And and today I want to share with you guys five simple DIY t-shirt hacks where you can take basic plain t-shirts, ones that you might have, or you can go out and buy some super affordable ones at like Walmart or Uniqlo, which is where a lot of mine are from. I just absolutely love their $5 tees. And I'm just going to share with you guys how you can take those basic t-shirts and turn them into something a little bit more fun or a lot more fun, uh, super simply and super easily with a couple different techniques and hacks and like tricks and all that sort of stuff. And if you want your daily dose of Drew, I post outfit photos and inspiration pictures of my outfits and everything like that on Instagram almost every single day. So you can follow me at I'm Drew Scott. I'll put it on the screen for you. And without further ado, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I post fashion and lifestyle content over here. And then over on my second channel, Lone Fox, I post more interior and DIY over there. Just in case you guys didn't know, give this video a thumbs up and let's just get into today's DIY shirts. Okay guys, so jumping into the first shirt, I'm starting off with a large Uniqlo $5 black t-shirt and we're gonna kind of create an off-white inspired t-shirt. This one was kind of just on the whim. I was just thinking of something to do and I ended up grabbing some just painter's tape, just the regular traditional blue painter's tape and I taped off the bottom section of my shirt. Now keep in mind that you can do this on the sleeve, you can do it in the middle of the shirt, you can do it on the pocket, you can do it on the bottom, on the back, whatever you feel comfortable doing. But before taping it down, definitely add some form of protection in between the layers because I didn't do that and the paint did actually bleed onto the back side of the shirt which kind of sucks but honestly it was kind of a learning lesson for me so for you guys to do it correctly make sure to put a protective layer in between and I'm using this white soft fabric paint the key is to get a fabric paint that is the soft kind when you go to the craft store you're going to be able to tell it'll say like soft matte or something along the lines of that because that's just going to make it kind of almost melt into the fabric and feel like fabric it's not going to feel like paint on top of the fabric and it is 100% washable um, everything about it is just really really great I love using this kind of fabric paint now for me if I wanted to get this fully opaque I probably would have had to do like four or five coats but I personally kind of liked the idea of having almost a cloudy effect and then when you pull it off the tape you're still gonna have that super crisp line so you kind of have that cloudy effect of the white inside of those white stripes but on the outside it still has a very structured kind of like off-white stripe element which is exactly what I was going for and I really liked the overall vibe of this so once you are completely done I'm gonna share with you guys in a second what kind of happened to mine how it bled through on the back side you can see here it kind of bled through in a couple of spots but I definitely do think it is still wearable for sure and that's the finished shirt This next shirt is super, super simple. I'm actually starting off with a white t-shirt. And what I'm gonna be doing with this is actually ironing on an iron-on patch. And I got this one when I was in Oregon and I didn't even realize, it says boys don't cry. And to be completely honest, guys, like, I cry quite often. I mean, not often, but like I do cry every now and then, you know? So I was like, I'm going to alter this patch to be a little bit more suitable for my personal preference because I didn't really like that it said boys don't cry like with the actual fuck, but I'm using a um, iron to iron this down as shown. You just have to set it to the cotton setting and then just press it down on there for 10 seconds, flip it inside out. And then when you're flipped it inside out, this is really where the process of bonding is gonna happen. You're going to really iron it down and the patch is going to be adhered. And then what I did was I grabbed some red fabric paint, which is basically the same exact brand of fabric paint I used on the last shirt. And I just used a red version of that to cross out the word don't. Have it end up saying boys cry. And I just ended up liking how I was able to personalize a patch. So if you guys wanted to do this as well, you can definitely add a little custom elements. You can also add bits of embroidery to already pre-made patches just to customize them a little bit. Or you can just put a patch on your shirt to make it your own to start with. Um, This 
Next shirt is probably our most time consuming one, I guess you could say. I'm starting off with a black t-shirt and it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna explain to you guys. What I'm doing is taking some fabric scissors and cutting up about four inches on the side of each of the shirts. So right on that side seam, I'm gonna do it on the left side. I'm also gonna do it on the right side because what I wanna create is almost a step up hemline. So having the back longer and the front shorter and I'm cutting off the front section or the front panel. So it's like gonna be four inches tall and then however wide your shirt is, you're gonna cut that front panel off. So you're ending up with a shirt that looks exactly like this. And now it comes time to install the zippers. These are basic zippers from the craft store. They are eight inches long and I got the gray taping on the sides of them. And what I did was I laid it on the side seam and I'm going to use my finger as a guide to cut up to where the zipper is going to be ending. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna be taking this fabric adhesive and I'm going to be gluing down the edges of the shirt. So the cut edge that we created, you're just gonna add a very thin bead of glue and just fold it over on itself. This is going to create space for the zipper in the actual center side. And then it's also going to make it so that you have a clean finished edge when you glue this down to the zipper. But the thing I love about this shirt is it kind of creates a step up hem, but then at the same time, it also creates almost a poncho-esque shirt. If you were to layer this over another shirt, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But I'm gonna glue this down now that we have our two finished off edges, we're gonna glue it down to the zipper tape, making sure that the zipper, the head of the zipper is at the bottom. So that way when you zip it up, it just zips up very nicely. And you're gonna repeat the process on the other side. So how I like to style this shirt is to layer it over the top of another one and then you can zip up the edges. So you have this really almost like cropped revealing-esque shirt, but you do have another shirt underneath it, which is gonna kind of prevent that croppage in a way. You could zip it up, you could zip it down, you could style it however you would like. I'm just wearing it as is right here, um, which you're gonna see in a second. <laughs> our fourth shirt here. Next, we are going to be doing a tie-dye shirt. But the thing I love about this tie-dye is we're going to be tie-dyeing with bleach instead of actual colors. So I'm starting off with a black t-shirt in a large size because it can shrink a tiny bit. And I'm going to be twisting it from the center point, as you guys can see here, just twisting it on a smooth surface. So that way it all kind of coils up in a ball. But there are definitely different uh, tie-dye techniques if you want to do those. But I just did the one that kind of created the classic twist. And I used a couple of rubber bands to secure this twist in place, making sure that all all the edges are kind of combined and bound together to create this ball of t-shirt fabric essentially and next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a little bin this is kind of like a plastic storage bin and I'm going to be adding the bleach to the shirt now again kind of an error on my end is I just poured too much bleach to start with I would probably suggest pouring a lot less than I did I poured so much and realized it afterwards that it kind of soaked through the entire shirt but I did get a very cool tie-dye effect but I think I could have gotten an even cooler effect if I let the bleach not penetrate as much. So I'm cutting off the rubber bands after it gets to the desired color that I like, pulling it out, and you're gonna instantly want to put this in a salt bath or um, just put it in the washer and dryer to get that bleach to stop bleaching. And this is your finished tie-dyed shirt. Oh. Moving on to our final shirt. This one requires a little bit of hand painting, but I definitely think anybody can do it. And I learned my lesson with the first shirt. I added some paper towel on the inside where I'm gonna be doing my painting. So I don't have that bleed through, but I'm actually gonna be creating this sun pattern that I saw on a dress on ASOS. I really liked the sun on the actual dress. So I'm kind of gonna to try to emulate that. So I brought it up for reference and I'm firstly drawing a circle using the same exact white fabric paint we used in the first project. And I'm going to be drawing a perfectly shaped or what I think is perfectly shaped circle and then filling it in to my best capability. Um, and then once you create that circle and fill that in, it almost looks like a moon at this point. You're gonna be creating the little actual edges of the sun. So I'm gonna be pulling those in with very, very like organic shapes. So as you could see at the sample and reference photo, the sun has these really, really cool uh, little like rays on it. I think they are really nice as opposed to a very evened out sun. I like the look of this. So 
I'm going in and finishing that and then once those are all outlined I'm gonna fill them in as well and the freaking sucky part that is so annoying is that the camera stopped recording when I did the detail work which really sucks I'm so sorry about that but I just went in with some black fabric paint and I painted on the face and I painted a line down the center of each of the sun rays and that really finished off the entire sun um, it was pretty simple to detail it and I think anyone can definitely do a very similar look guys so those are my projects for today i hope that you guys enjoyed them and a few of them were on the more simple side but i wanted to share them with you anyways because i really do think they create such a better shirt super affordably and easily um because sometimes a lot of my projects in the past have been more in depth but i know a lot of you guys want more simplistic and easy projects just things that you can whip out and create almost effortlessly without having to really have any like sewing techniques or skills that kind of stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed those shirts definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will be posting more videos very shortly i have a really fun like styling video coming up that i've been filming over the past couple of days that i think you guys are going to love so click that bell icon to be notified when i upload brand new videos okay i think that's about all make sure to also follow me on instagram at i'm drew scott for more outfit inspiration and your daily dose of drew and i will catch you guys all in the next one have a great rest of your day guys bye